I'm going to face the nastiest lefty in the league. And if I hit into a double play or don't score the runner in from second, our season is over. Sounds crazy, right? But my results will shock you. Here's what happened. So before stepping up to the batter's box, you should have an approach. And my approach is look for the ball up in the zone because this pitcher has a dirty changeup. And I don't want to swing over that, hit a ground ball into a double play. So for that reason, I am looking for the fastball up in the zone. So the first pitch he throws me is a changeup. And right now I am feeling over the moon. I'm excited because he threw me his best pitch early. He didn't set me up. He threw it early and wanted me to swing over and I didn't. Which means now I got him because I got his best pitch. I got it logged in. And this is gonna help me throughout the entire bat. No way that was a strike. No way. I want to get your opinion on that. Do you think that was a strike? Comment below. I don't think that was a strike. I think that was too low. But anyways, he threw me a fastball and he threw it down. And the reason I didn't swing is because I'm not looking for that pitch. If I swing at that pitch, now it sets me up for the other pitcher. So I had to take it. Again, I'm looking for a fastball up in the zone. So he threw me a curveball. It started on a similar plane as that fastball inside and I took it and it was a ball. And this is great for me because I didn't swing at his pitches. I'm staying disciplined. I'm staying strong mentally at my pitch. And when you do that, you're gonna make the pitcher throw it where you want to and you're gonna get hits. And I need to get a hit because if I don't score this RBI in, our season is over. And if I do score them in, we got a chance to win and win a ring. Yes, a ring. I want that ring. Uh, Don't let the pitcher freeze you. If the pitcher's taking too long, call time, reset, step out, take a breath. This is your at bat. This is your at bat. You're controlling this at bat, not him. By the way, if you wanna know what I'm wearing, I'm wearing these glasses right here. They record in 1080p and players from Little League, Travel Ball, all the way up to the major leagues are wearing these glasses. So if you're interested in wearing these glasses and sharing your story, just like I am in this video, and if you want a chance of winning a free one, link will be in the description below. These glasses are amazing and I use them for mental reps and I use them for a lot of different things to help me as a player. So if you're interested in that, link will be in the description below. Ah! Now that's a pitch, you gotta go like this. He threw me a backdoor curveball. One that started off the plate, ends up on the outer corner. Can't do anything about it. At that point, you just gotta tip your cap. And now it's who's stronger mentally. 2-2 two, two count, you got to battle, you have to mentally be tough to not swing outside the zone, but you also have to protect. So now, this is when it get interesting. The season's on the line, so who's stronger mentally? So he doubled up with a backdoor curveball, and as you see, I just fouled it off. Right now, I'm in fight mode, we're fighting for our life. He ain't gonna beat me. There's no way he's gonna beat me. I ain't letting that happen. So I had to just foul it off just to give myself another pitch. And it's now time to lock in. It's time to win this. That's a line drive up the middle. Base hit for me, runner scores, and we won. And guess what? We also want a ring as well. So if you enjoyed this, you'll love this video right here, which is similar to this video where I'm telling you a story and you get to see through my eyes. So if you want to live the MLB experience, click that video right there 
and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you and subscribe to the channel if you're new here.